everyone back tonight with chapter uh, 29 Jeremiah talks about Jeremiah's letter to the exiles that's what it says it says these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem to the surviving elders of the exiles and to the priests the prophets and all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had taken to exile from Jerusalem to Babylon this was after King Jehoiakim and the Queen Mother, the eunuchs, the officials of Judah and Jerusalem, the craftsmen, and the metal workers had departed from Jerusalem. The letter was sent by the hand of Elasa, the son of Shaphan, and, G and Gamariah, the son of Hilkah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. It said, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, who is Christ, to all the exiles whom, whom I have sent to exile from Jerusalem to, from Jerusalem to Babylon, Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat the produce. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there and do not decrease, but seek, but seek the, uh, but to seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. For thus is the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Do not let your prophets and your diviners who are among you deceive you. Do not listen to, do not, do not listen to the dreams that they dream. For it, for it is a lie that they, are, that they are prophesying to you in my name. I do not send them, declares the Lord. For thus says the Lord, when seventy years are completed for Babylon, I will visit you and I will fulfill to you my promise and bring you back to this place. For I know the plans that uh, I have I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I, I will I will be I will be found by you, declares the Lord. And I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord. I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into, into exile. Because you have said, the Lord has raised up prophets for us in Babylon. Thus says the Lord concerning the king who sits on the throne of David, and concerning all the people who dwell in this city, your kinsmen and who did not go out with you into exile, some of those who remain, in, who remain in Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I am sending on them sword, which is war, famine and pestilence, and I will make them like, the, like vile figs that are so rotten they cannot be eaten. I will pursue them with sword, famine, and pestilence, and will make them a horror to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse, a terror, a hissing, and a reproach among all the nations where I have driven them, because they do not pay attention to my words, declares the Lord, that I persistently sent to you by your servants, the prophets, but you would not listen, declares the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, all you exiles whom I sent away from Jerusalem to Babylon, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning... Ahab the son of Kaliah and Zedekiah the son of Masa, who are prophesying a lie to you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall strike them or kill, or kill them before your eyes. Because of them, this curse shall be used by all the exiles from Judah and, and Babylon. The Lord, the Lord make you like Zedekiah and Ahab, whom the king of Babylon toast in the fire. And that's when, of course, God, or I mean, of course, uh, you know, God used Babylon to invade Israel, because they have, because they have done an outrageous thing in Israel. They have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives, meaning these uh, pro these false prophets were having sex with uh, with with men's wives, and they have spoken in my name lying words that I did not command them. I am the one who knows, and I am I am, and I am witness to the Lord. I mean, God knows everything we do. He knows our past, our present, our future. He knows everything that we do is all before Him. It's just scary. That's why it's important to repent of your sins and live your life for Christ because we don't know when we're going to die. We don't know when Christ is going to turn. We, all we can do is repent every day and live for Christ. I mean, it's hard. I mean, I, I'm a human being. I know. I mean, I, you know, I'm a human. I, you know, I know the struggles. Um, I mean, it's hard to, to live for Christ every single day. Um, you're gonna have your days where you're gonna fall. It's gonna happen. No one's perfect. We all have our, you know, fa our faults. Um, but you, you've got to learn from your mistakes and repent of them and live for Christ every single day if you want to be a follower of Christ. Um, 
Shemaiah's false prophecy to Shemaiah of Nehalim, you shall say, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, you have sent letters in your name to all the people who are in Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah the son of Masa, the priest, and to all the priests, saying, The Lord has made you priests instead of Jehadiah, the priest, to have charge in the house of the Lord. Over every man or over every madman who prophesies to put him in the stocks and neck irons, now why have you not rebuked Jeremiah of An of Anatha, who is prophesying to you? For he has sent us in Babylon, saying, Your exile will be long, build houses and live in them, and plant gardens to eat their produce. Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the hearing of Jeremiah the prophet. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, sent all sent to all the exiles, saying, Thus said the Lord concerning Shemaiah of Nehalim, because Shemaiah hath prophesied to you when I did not send him, and, and has made you trust in a the lie. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah of, ne of Nehalim and his descendants. He shall not have anyone living among this people. He shall not see the good that I will do to my people, declares the Lord. For he has spoken rebellion against the Lord. I mean, this false prophet was telling Israel to rebel against God pretty much, to continue in their sin and all this other crap. And that's why Israel, you know, wasn't um, wasn't being blessed by God. I mean, that's why Israel wasn't being protected by God, because these false prophets were leading them into sin. They were not repenting. So God allowed, you know, Israel to be invaded and, and be taken to, to exile in Babylon. Because, um, uh, you know, these false prophets, you know, led Israel into their sin. And God disciplined Israel and these false prophets by, by exile. That's 29. That's why it's so important to repent, man. And repent of your sins lived off of Christ because, you know, I mean, I've been there and you, you don't you don't want God disciplining you because when he does, it's not fun. You know, he's, he's only giving you some many warnings until, until, he in, until he intervenes, you know, himself and until he has to wake you up. So, you know, when Christ, you know, when God, you know, gives you warnings, take them and and repent of your sins and leave it off the cross before you have to allow something bad to happen to you before you wake up. So, it's like he did here here with Israel. He, he let them be invaded. I mean, take, he took them back to exile, or took them to, through exile to Babylon so that they could finally, you know, realize what they did, repent and go back, to and turn back to God and then God sent them back to their homeland by Iran invading Iraq. Which, which they freed the Jews and sent them back to Israel. So that's 29 about Jeremiah, Jeremiah's letter to the exiles and Shemaiah's false prophecy. And I'll be about to 30 here shortly.